Hi, I'm Grant Harris. I'm part of the Canopy Science team here in Lambasango, Indonesia. And today we're in the rainforest. We're 30 meters above the forest floor. And we're looking at the diversity of epiphytes. That's the plants that are growing on this huge strangler fig. Well, figs are actually really important keystone resources for the redispersal of epiphytes after forests are felled, often because loggers come in and they don't fell the figs because they're pretty poor timber and you can't get a straight log out of them. So they're often left behind and they're often the largest trees in the forest when forests are regenerating. So they really work as a reservoir for epiphytes. We haven't ID'd these ones yet and they're not in the photo guide. So we're giving them a kind of like pseudo names at the moment. Um, but yeah, it looks like parsley. So we're going with tree parsley. <laughs> it's creating its own humic soil in here. This is why the figs are so important. It's because obviously all of these little crevices here, all the structural complexity allows for more soil to form. So you can see here, here, everywhere. And the mosses really help as well. The mosses are like a pioneer. So they, uh, help collect water and uh, obviously when they rot down they create more humic soils. And strangler figs start their lives as seeds dropped by birds in the tops of the tree. They grow down over the host. This tree is very old and it's actually killed its host and is now just supporting its health. This year we're running a pilot project uh, and next year we'll hope to have some dissertation students who will be conducting their own canopy research.